Hey guys, as many of you know, I have the most expensive mana crypt ever, which is the Invocation or the Invention mana crypt. Jewel Lotus, I also have that card in, I don't know if it's the, it's like textured rarity, I don't know if that's the highest rarity. And Dockstad Extortionist, another card that was really, really valuable. So these cards have been banned in Commander, which is only the only place that they see play. In fact, I believe Jewel Lotus can only be played in Commander. Let me check if that's correct. Uh, yes, you can only cast it to cast, you can spend the mana to cast your Commander. So without Commander, it is basically a useless, incredibly useless card. So let me see the different versions of it. Oh wow, here's a, uh, a uh, there's four different versions of it, uh, apparently. And that got banned. Uh, Mana Crip, I don't know how many different versions of it it has, but it has a lot of reprints and so on. But it's a very pricey card, and especially from me. You know, I lost a shit ton of money on my invention. I have one of every invention, uh, including Mana Crypt. Uh, that hurts a lot. Dockside, I think I pulled a bunch of them from like one of the sets, maybe Modern Horizons, like two or three. But uh, I don't have like the the best version of it. This is pretty big news. Uh, this is pretty big news. I would definitely say that it does have financial ramifications when you make EDH decks. Jeweled Lotus, like even though I didn't lose that much money on Jeweled Lotus, Jeweled Lotus is a bad, big, bad one. Um, I can explain why the Jeweled Lotus is so big and so bad because it's only, like it reads, I'm looking at its price chart and it's off a cliff. Jewel Lotus reads, sacrifice Jewel Lotus, add free mana of any one color, spend this mana only to cast your commander. So it is a card specifically made for commander. Um, it used to be very valuable and now it is not. Um, let's see, it's actually dropping, when I refresh the button, it's actually dropping in prices. People race to the bottom. Let's see what happened to Mana Crypt, probably the same thing. Oh yeah, Mana Crypt, holy smokes. Uh, so the last time Mana Crypt sold, market price was um, $879.99. That was the last sale. Now there's people listing it for $498. No, no one bought it. No one buying the stuff. They want to see what happens. But the uh, card is now being listed for sub 500 when it actually sold for almost 900 uh, this should tell you that uh, in terms of, oh, so Ring is, on, on the flip side, so Ring is going up in price, the invention. Okay, so I mean, yeah, I, I, there you go. I mean, somebody is trying, oh, here's the texture. Yeah, I don't have this one. I thought I would probably buy it, but I don't have this one. The Jewel Lotus Textured Foil Commander Map. So not only is it a Commander card, it's in Commander Masters, and its price is... Uh, the last time it sold was for five hundred and sixty-eight dollars, and right now it's the lowest price is two hundred and seventy-one dollars. So it has both of uh, Jewel Lotus and, and probably Dock Dockside probably took a, a bigger beating, maybe. Uh, Dockside Extortionist is the card. Uh, yeah, I have this one, so I have it from. Uh, I have it from Double Masters. Okay, that's why I have so many copies of this stupid card. I have it from Double Masters. Okay, that makes sense. Got it. Um, Double Masters. Yeah, the card is plummeting into... Yeah, it's also off a cliff. It used to be ninety four seventy seven last sale. And now somebody's got listed for twenty eight eighty eight. Yeah, Commander is a big deal, guys. Uh, if the card doesn't see playing... Or if the card gets banned in Commander, it's going to drop at least 50% within the first day, if not more. It's sad to see, but it is what it is, right? I mean, again, how do they ba ban Jeweled Lotus? I don't know. Um, I don't know. So so the Mana Crypt thing, that kind of makes sense to me. Dockside, again, that is kind of uh, makes sense to me. I don't get how you make a card for Commander that can only be played in Commander, that it's in Commander Masters, and then ban it. Just don't make it that powerful. Like, do you understand what happened? They made a card really powerful so they could sell more of it. 
you guys can understand what I'm trying to say. They wanted to sell more of it. So then they sold really well. That was the number one card in the set that everyone's chasing. The textured foil for $900. Then when they sold enough of it, they didn't ban it. Huh. Well, anyway. Bye, guys.